I was like at the peak of my puberty and I was sweating a lot. Good morning. Today is vlog summer day two. So my boyfriend's grandmother came home from the USA a couple of days ago and she gave me some Bath and Body Works soaps, which is so exciting. So she gave me this one, which is frosted cranberry, frosted cranberries sprinkled with iced peach. And we're using that right now. So now I have like four extra Bath and Body Works soaps. The second one she got me is a fresh sparkling snow, and this is icy pear and melon frosted with winter winter musk, and both smell absolutely divine and yay! So let's open up day number two. That's right there. A star. So we've spent more than 10 minutes uh, getting all the snow off the car and I hope it's okay now. We're gonna go grab something to eat and then my boyfriend is going to work and I'm just going back home I guess. Hi guys, so I'm back home. Uh, we just had some quick lunch to go. I uh, just uploaded vlog summer day one, so that's exciting. I really hope um, you're enjoying it. And yeah, seeing so many vlog summer and vlogmas videos, so I'm really excited to watch all of them. I have so many videos to watch right now, so I guess I'll just kind of do that, binge watch some YouTube videos. Hi guys, so it is pretty late at night it's past 11 p.m so i'm gonna end this day here um i'm gonna make it up to you tomorrow by doing something more fun and exciting but yeah we're just gonna hang out with a dog and yeah i'll talk to you tomorrow good morning it is vlog December day three december 3rd i haven't had any breakfast so i'm pretty hungry need to get on that and my hair is a mess i took a shower and i haven't brushed it today is another weird day that i have no idea what i'm doing i know that i'm babysitting tonight so I'm gonna see if the bread is okay so um what vloggers are you watching i just watched samantha marie's vlog this bread is okay so i'm gonna have that with some nutella i think <laughs> um because i'm that healthy so, the lighting is weird, but we'll deal with it. This is the only place that I can really keep you right now. I was thinking about doing, like, showing you my memory book or, like, you know, some stuff from my past. That sounds really mysterious. Um, you know, like a diary, but it's not a diary. Do you watch Charlotte from The Jury Shore? I used to watch The Jury Shore, like season one and season two or something. I don't watch the Judy Shore, but I kind of follow them. I kind of know what's up most of the time. But anyways, Charlotte is my absolute favorite person ever. I actually loved Wiki as well. So, Charlotte started a YouTube channel. I'll link down below if you're interested. And she's honestly the most, the funniest person I know, like, I don't think there's a funnier person on YouTube. Like, she cracks me up. I just love her videos. And she did a video on, like, her old, like, memory diary stuff. And I also watched Dulce Candy's memory lane video, which was really fun. It was just kind of reflecting back on old photos and stuff. So I thought it might be fun to do something like that. I actually have, like, three memory books stuffed with things 
really random things that I've just kind of kept as memories. My toast is ready. Buttering my bread with Nutella. I got some great feedback on my uh, rose gold decorations on vlog one, so thank you for that. I definitely want to go ahead and do more of that theme, so. Now I'm gonna eat this delicious meal, cabazon, and a Nutella bread. I want to tell, tell you that um, my phone company is doing like a Christmas calendar giveaway, and yesterday I won a lottery ticket. I've never played the lottery, so this is, ex this is exciting for me. So this one brings this dirty old football into bed. That's fun. Oh, oh, thank you. Gonna eat the third day chocolate on my calendar. Exciting. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There it is. Oh, it's pretty stuck in there. There you go. And it is a gift. A little gift. So this is my old photo album, which has just like a mix match of photos. Here's me as a child, baby, wedding photo from my parents' wedding. Some more photos. It's basically just me and my family. It's like photos that I picked out to keep on my own. So I don't know how exciting this is. This is me on my parents' wedding day. I haven't changed one bit. I still look exactly the same. So a little hamster that I always put in my dollhouse. So that's a hamster in a dollhouse. I have a photo of me and my best friend Frida. That's more like cat photos. Yeah, fun cat photos. <laughs> so that's not an interesting photo album, but you know, still some fun photos that I like to keep. This is where the good stuff happens. This is me in a newspaper here in Iceland. Uh, another picture of me in a newspaper. I did ballroom dancing. Another photo of me in the newspaper. So that was cool. Been in the newspaper quite a few times. I went to like a girl camp a few years ago and 2007 I won for the biggest smile. My smile was literally 13 centimeters across. Like I have no idea how big that is but like I can do some really big smiles. It was even bigger than that and that looked crazy but that's <laughs> um that's me. What do we have? We have a love letter from an ex-boyfriend, my first real boyfriend, so I'm not going to show you that, but it's pretty cute. So we keep that, you know. This was a photo of me and my ex-boyfriend, my first real boyfriend, and I was 13 when that was taken. I had dyed my hair really dark brown, as you can see. A little story time. Um, when I was 13, I had my first real, real boyfriend and we both went to each other's confirmation, which is what happens when you're 13, 14 years old here. I didn't really know anyone at his confirmation, like it was all of his family um, that I knew, but like, um, I felt kind of out of place. I'm saying I'm a lot, that's because I'm nervous telling a story that is really funny. <laughs> so I was wearing this dress, um, this light blue gray dress it was really nice i loved it and i kind of sat at one place for a really long time with his niece that's my friend and anyways i just kind of kept my hands like this the whole time and this was the period that i was like at the peak of my puberty and I was sweating a lot. Like sweating was a big problem of mine in when I was 11 to 14 maybe. Like it was a huge problem of mine. I would sweat so much and it was really terrible. Like I wouldn't wish that on anyone. It was a terrible thing, especially when you're, you know, going through a lot of changes in your body and it was just messed up. So anyways, I was 13, I sat the whole time at one place and I kind of kept my hands like this, I guess leaning forward or something. 
And, you know, then I was, like, walking around, and I went into the bathroom, and I saw that I had a huge, huge sweat stain. I don't know what you call it. It was just, like, sweat on my dress, and it, like, covered my boob. Like, it was, like, it was not just under my hands, um, because this was a sleeveless dress, thank God. But it covered my boob because I had, you know, rested my hand on my boob for the whole day or something. So I had to, like, call my boyfriend from the toilet and ask him, like, can you please get my blazer? And he was like, well, what, why? And I'm like, oh, I'm just really cold. And I just made up a story like that. So he brought a blazer, brought my blazer up, and I wore the blazer throughout the party and it was like stinking hot in there because you know the house was filled with guests so i wore the blazer all day and that's one of the most embarrassing things in my life because i i knew that i had been walking through the party with this like huge sweat stain on my boobs like the side of my boobs it was it was just terrible so that's that i did look cute though like i was actually really pretty at this time i had dark hair and then this is a napkin from my com confirmation party. Kisses. That's cute. This is me when I was a child. I look exactly the same. Got like a bunch of tickets and a movie. She's out of my league. This is a drawing that I did. I actually really liked it. Uh, another painting that I did. A, a key to a locker at my local swimming pool when I was young that's hilarious I accidentally stole it and then I just like kept it forever I never wanted to take it back a painting that I did of me and my ex-boyfriend that is hilarious I didn't have that long hair like my hair is that long today it wasn't that long but it's a nice painting like I had a teeny bit of talent like I actually could paint if I really want to but it's still kind of terrible this is a person drowning I don't know that's kind of depressing isn't it the name of the painting is drowning and I did it 2010 so that means I was 15 some old stuff from ex-boyfriends um some like Christmas gift cards or like you know gift tags I guess uh, I went to see Little Fuckers, apparently. I have a heart. Got some maps. Okay. That is done. I think the next one is this one. This is a cutesy picture of me and my boyfriend. So this is when I'm actually with my boyfriend. I don't know if I'm doing this in the right row. But I think so. It's cute. It's when we were in Brazil. So we had like a professional photographer take our photos and stuff and, um, at like this hot park. So this is one of our favorites, favorite photos of us together. Another family photo. What do we have here? Some photos. This is supposed to be me and a few of my friends from school that looks like me. I have, do have wide shoulders so that we like got that right. Got lots of random, like, concert stuff. I'm gonna find myself and then I can show you the photo. So basically, it's like everyone wrote in um, a little nice note to you. And it's really cute looking it up. This is me at that time when I was 15. Cute. And everyone wrote in, like, cute stuff. Um, I don't want to show you because they all have their full names on there, but my best friends and I didn't write in for each other. And we decided to do that later on, but then we never did. So, uh, but I think it's just kind of cute that we didn't do it. So it's like obvious that there's our empty. This is another cutesy thing. I'm reaching into this pocket. I can't even remember who did it. I guess um, someone from my boyfriend's family, I think. It's so sweet, says Emma. And this is my setup. So this little note is from like <laughs> when my boyfriend and I used to work together. That's hilarious. He raised me up some old 
ugly photo of a cat or something. How I feel about candles and a guy and a hangman. I don't know. I don't know. This is cute. I think I know, but it's of me and my boyfriend, my current boyfriend. This is all like, you know, pretty new stuff. Or pretty new. I've been with my boyfriend for four years, so somewhere around that time. This is a cute photo of me, one of my favorite photos. And this is a letter from my boyfriend of the photo, just in black and white. And it was like a, my Christmas gift letter. So that's cute. And there it is again. The last one, I think, like, I don't know if I'm doing this in the right row. Here we got like a bunch of little, little photos. Me when I was baby and, you know, bunch of cute little photos. Um, this is my great grandmother who passed away a couple of years ago. So this is how I looked when I was 13. And I feel like I don't look 13 there at all. I feel like I look exactly the same, except I'm obviously tanned. This was taken while on a vacation. And we got some more cutesy photos from my childhood and stuff. I don't know why I'm keeping it in there. I really need to go through all of this and figure out a better solution. These, I'm pretty sure my boyfriend's little siblings did for me or for us. Super cute. Don't you just love going over like old stuff like that? So old love letters and um, <laughs> old photos and stuff. So now you've kind of peeked into my most private possession, basically. I hope you feel like you know me a bit more now, I guess. If that's what you wanted in the first place, I don't know. I don't know why you're watching this. So I have started... Uh, editing this vlog these two days combined and it's already really long and um, we're now going to like a family late birthday party with his family so i don't think i'm gonna be vlogging there at all so there i actually put on some jeans these are my ripped jeans from top shop and i'm wearing a big slouchy shirt that i love from i don't know h m i think so we have arrived at um, my boyfriend's aunt's place that we're gonna babysit for. So I'll talk to you later when that's done or happening or something. We're just putting the kids to sleep and then watching some TV or something. Pretty chill night. Hi guys, so it is really late. It's actually past midnight and we're just got out from babysitting it is freezing outside i don't even know how cold it is and i'm looking very rough my boyfriend is getting gas so oh, i'm just so excited to take my makeup off go to bed and tomorrow um i'm going to physical therapy and some stuff so um i'll be out and about the gas tank lid is completely frozen, so my boyfriend had to go get some hot water to be able to close it. Like, you do not understand how cold it is. I feel even more tired than I look. If that's even possible. So it is really late by now. I just put some castor oil on my eyebrows after washing my face. My skin is looking... Um, just really irritated right now, so that sucks. Um, I need to change something up in my skincare regimen. It's just not working out. There's something bothering my skin, but I don't really know what I want to do. So, Christian is watching Black Hawk Down. We both need to wake up early tomorrow, so I really want to go to sleep and get a decent night's sleep. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, uh, even though it was super long since it was two days and I wanted to put up one long vlog this week. So yeah, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for new videos every single day this December, and I will talk to you in my next vlog.